going to discuss about the uh, resistance of a given conductor having variable area of cross section. Suppose we are provided with a conductor which is having an area of cross section which is varying uniformly and uh, we are having the one end of the conductor to be to be having a, a radius suppose of b while the other end to be having a radius a obviously we have a to be greater than b the radius uh, increases gradually and uh, so we have this kind of a setup and uh, we wish to determine the resistance now the resistivity of the material of the uh, conductor in this case uh, is supposedly rho and uh, the length that has been considered is l so we are having l as the length of the conductor and we are having the resistivity of the material of the conductor to be rho but the only problem lies with the case that the area keeps on varying uh, but uh, it's however varying uniformly now in order to approach this kind of a setup what we do is we consider the variation in length uh, or variation in the radius first of all now if i look at that angle let us say this is theta and what i get is that this distance on the other side would be the radius would be a as well and uh, the radius over here from that central point from which i have considered uh, this is b so this excess of length that i have over here let me uh, draw that in another ink for you for clear for clarity so this length that i have over here this is the excess of length that i'm getting uh, because of the varying radius so this is going to be equal to uh, a minus of b so this is a minus b while the horizontal length uh, that remains l now this tan theta that i have over here that is going to be equal to the perpendicular now the perpendicular in this triangle that i see over here this triangle we have tan theta to be equal to a minus b over the length l now with this variation in the uh, in the radius with the length uh, we would like to add one more thing to it now what is that thing that we wish to add so if we are to consider the small variation in the uh, in the radius with the small variation in the length now i consider a strip of it again i'm going to use another ink for that uh, let us say i have uh, a small strip of that uh, this is the one so i consider a small strip circular strip now that strip i take the distance along the horizontal direction as uh, dl that's the variation in the length as i go from one end to the other a very small slice of it and uh, again the variation in the in the radius over here that is uh, this part this part is going to be simply dx so what i'm going to get that tan theta that i have obtained over here that is also going to be equal to that small variation because the angle as you know uh, if even if i take a very small segment of it that's uh, going to be theta uh, as well so and that grows that grows as we progress forward that keeps on growing and uh, and we get that value so this tan theta here is also equal to the variation in the in the uh, slant or the or the increase in height i would say uh, with respect to the increase in distance so this is going to be dx over dl so that gives us from these two what we get is uh, a minus b 
over L is going to be dx over dl. So from that, what we get is uh, if we were to consider the uh, the variation, the resistance of that small slice that I have considered, that's uh, that will be fairly easy considering the entire thing. So the change in resistance that is occurring over a length dl that is uh, equal to rho dl over a and uh, that area that we can consider over there we can take the distance from the center as uh, x and uh, that that's the that brings about the change in area we are taking this radius at this point as x and so what we are getting is uh, we just substitute the value of uh, a as uh, dr to be equal to rho dl over pi x squared. Now we already have a relation between dl and dx over here which we are going to substitute and uh, what we are going to get is simply dr to be equal to rho times of uh, instead of dl what we can use is we can uh, have dl as uh, dx over a minus b times of l that is what we are getting for uh, uh, for d l that is and then we have pi x squared over here in the denominator so we integrate this to get the resistance that we were supposed to obtain so we have rho and uh, all the rest of the terms that is l a minus b pi uh, all of them are constant terms uh, we have dx over x squared and that is to be integrated now x because it's the it's the distance from the center that we have taken so it's going to be it's going to be varying from uh, the smaller radius b to the uh, radius a as we move along the length l so we have rho l over pi a minus b and uh, this integration obviously comes out to be equal to uh, minus of uh, 1 over x and that x as we know is varying from b to a so the minus term well we can just uh, cancel out the minus term and we can take the upper limit as b and the lower limit as a uh, that's the way to do it so rho l divided pi a minus b and over here we have 1 by b minus 1 over a and uh, because uh, that can we take the LCM over there so we have we end up with an a minus b over here divided by a b and an a minus b over here which are obviously going to cancel out rho l and there's a pi over there so this equation finally that we get over here is rho l over pi times of a b this is the value of resistance that we are going to get for such a variation a uniform variation of the conductor from a certain smaller radius b to a bigger radius a and uh, that's it